So we need to pose the question, why build a computer network? Why do you need a computer network? Why do we build them now? And why are we so reliant upon them? Well, to answer that question, we need only to look at the past before we had computer networks available to us. So before we had computer networks available, everything was sent by hand or by the postal service. In the office, if you had a file that needed to be sent up to a different department, you had to go through your mailing department and have somebody send it, or you had to send it yourself. If the utility company needed to send a bill to you, they had to send it through the postal service and you had to write a check and send it back to them through the postal service. So everything was sent via hand and manually or through the postal service. And in general, this is a really slow process and it can be very unreliable because lots of times information is lost when exchanges a lot of hands, especially through the postal service. Now, one of the great things of having a computer network is that it mitigates a lot of those risks that we had in the past. So computer networks enable a much faster mode of communication and a much more efficient mode of communication. And let's think about some really simple examples. So instead of using the postal service or delivering information by hand, we can simply email somebody now. And we know that it's gonna get there a majority of the time. When's the last time that you had an email that didn't go through or an email that was lost? Probably never. And so let's think about other modes of communication. We have video conferencing as well, where you can have a webcam set up in your conference room and you can attend a conference by not even being in that conference room. You can log in with your laptop and have your webcam set up with your mic and you can be there in that meeting just like you were there in person, when in fact you could be at home in your pajamas. Now, another thing that computer networks do is that they encourage the use of standard policies and procedures. And so if you think about our previous lecture where we talked about communication protocols, is that when we are thinking about computer networks, for them to be able to communicate effectively and properly, they have to follow standard policies and procedures. And because they have to do that, and there's no way to get around it, like for example, if you wanted to have a document sent up from one department to the next, you wanted to streamline it, and maybe you paid the, the mail guy an extra five bucks to streamline that process, well, you can't do that with a computer network. You have to follow the policies and procedures, otherwise it's not gonna work. So that allows it to be much more efficient. And in general, when we have everybody using standard policies and procedures, it speeds up the process. Another great thing about having computer networks in place is that we can have modes of backup and recovery set up where our data is set up and backed up on a regular basis. And we call this redundancy in the IT world. Now, for example, when's the last time that you've had a file lost on your computer and you wish that you could back it up or you wish that you could restore? Probably everybody. Now, if you're at work and you lost some files, you could simply call up your IT guy and say, hey, did you back this data up? If so, can you please restore it? And me going from the realm, starting at the bottom, doing help desk and desktop support, I've done that many times. And so that's really a huge benefit of having a computer network in place. When's the last time where you said something over the postal service and you said, hey, you lost my mail, I need you to find it. When's the last time they actually found it? They never find it because when it's lost, it's gone. And this really all leads up to one major point is that computer networks lead to cost savings. And this is just a huge benefit. When we have faster communications, we have more efficient modes of communications where we're using standard policies and, and procedures and our data is backed up on a regular basis and it's set up in a redundant manner, we have cost savings in the long run. And so these are all the different reasons why we build out a network and why we use networks today. Thank you.